A community is remembering two lives lost after a gunman opened fire at a high school in California. Investigators are trying to figure out why a boy on his 16th birthday would open fire at his school before turning the gun on himself. Two of the victims remain in the hospital, but doctors say they're in good condition. The FBI is now analyzing evidence taken from his home. CBS 4's Marin Austin is live in Santa Clarita, California with the latest. No motive released as of yet, uh, but Saga's high school you see behind me is still a very active crime scene as investigators uh, continue to comb through evidence. Uh, now, I can tell you this is a community that is very much in mourning. A lot of students on Twitter and Instagram this morning expressing anger and sadness. At Central Park in Santa Clarita, a memorial is growing. The community has left flowers for a 14-year-old boy and a 16-year-old girl, gunned down at their school when investigators say another student opened fire. The suspect is 10th grader Nathaniel Burhow, whose 16th birthday was yesterday. We've got an active shooter at Saugus High School. We need all units to respond. Investigators say it took only 16 seconds for Burhow to fire every bullet in his semi-automatic handgun. Some students ran and others barricaded themselves in their classrooms. We all raced out and then while we were racing out, we heard three more gunshots behind us. And it's just the scariest part is that you don't know where they're coming from. I saw people running outside of our window and so we all we locked the door and we Hit, we hit ourselves behind the teacher's desk. Investigators say Burhaus saved the last bullet for himself and is hospitalized in grave condition. Fellow students describe him as a smart and quiet boy who played chess and had been active in a local Boy Scout troop. FBI investigators recovered the gun here at the school and collected additional evidence at the suspect's house, trying to find a motive. In, Micah in Turner had just arrived at school when the shooting started. Just seeing that one person fall, it's going to be hard to forget, and I'm going to have to live with that sight in my head. Two students remain hospitalized in stable condition. One suffered a single gunshot with a retained missile, meaning one wound. We were able to retrieve the bullet. Dr. Fire took a, take care of the second victim, and that was she was shot twice. The gun control advocacy group Every Town says the Saugus High School shooting is the 85th incident of gun violence at a school this year. Now, we just got word from one of the deputies out here that teachers are just now being let back onto the property at the school here uh, to go to their belongings and to their cars. Uh, as far as we know, uh, all schools in the district are closed today. For now, we're live in Santa Clarita. I'm Marin Austin. Let's go back to you in the studio. Marin, thank you.